Right before we went on air, the Supreme Court announced they will let the travel ban on six Middle Eastern countries go into effect. It will allow travelers with green cards and visas to enter the U.S., but will forbid all refugees unless they can prove that they have some connection here. Well, that, you know, that's the point that I would like to talk about because it says that um, the court limited the order's impact on foreigners with clear ties to individuals in the United a States. A fide relationship with the United Bonafide. States. Yeah. But um, uh, the Zarnev brothers, they were brothers in Boston, so they each had a connection to someone in the U.S. And the Manchester bomber mm -hmm. uh, also was, a, his brother was also a terrorist. So I don't know that that's going to work either. What changed, well, though? This was held up and then all the... It, well, what, because did the, this, the Supreme Court, I mean, this is no surprise for me because I think what you're going to find is that my opinion is that the Supreme Court is going to uphold the president's authority to, in the interest of national security, to say anyone from anywhere, hold on, you have you can't come in. And the reason is, I've been, I've been saying for a long time, is that the vetting process in these six countries is problematic. You have that on record from the former administration, and he at any point can That's say, if I want to protect the national security of this nation, I, as the president of the United States, the commander-in-chief, can say, you cannot come in until this is fixed. That's what I think is going to be a But they have a two-year vetting process. In place it's already. Most, but but those the records, robust the pro vetting process no, in the that's world, not true. That's that not is true. true. Not but from that being said, I don't specifically from countries like uh, Syria where they I don't mean, have from, paper records or that's anything exactly at all. Right. There aren't they, paper, and also we don't have, we the, have the, the most camaraderie with those vetting process in the world not here in the United in the United States. That is the truth. But that being, it's the truth. That's not true. Yes, it is. That that being said. I would not presume to uh, to say or know what the Supreme Court is going to do, but this certainly um, sounds like a partial victory for the administration. And I also think, though, that it is a very narrow victory mm -hmm. because what is going to happen is in 72 hours, we're going to see a lot of litigation over what a bona fide connection to a United States like, citizen yeah, means. Yeah, that's true. Like, that's going to be hard to... So I think we all just need to take a breath. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the country needs to take a breath and let the lawyers handle it. But I wonder if Trump that's will gonna... consider it a victory, because this was the one it's he called watered victory. down and politically correct. Politically correct. He said this is not a good enough one. So I wonder if he'll actually even claim his... It's a very, his... very he will narrow victory. It, it looks like Gorsuch, his, his dividend on Gorsuch is kicking in already. Well, there was well, no dissent, remember. Yeah, on yeah. this instance, this is, not one person dissented. What's happening because, here that's is they're the saying opinion. we're going to come back and visit this in its entirety, but right now we're going to let you do this. Mm -hmm. We're going to let you do this. And the sad thing for me about all of this is, you know, this is what they did to the Irish. This is what they did mm -hmm. to uh, uh, the Italians. This is what they did to the Spanish. This is what they did to the Chinese, mm -hmm. all out of fear. So I just hope that when we go outside today, Lady Liberty has not walked off. Yeah. With this, because refugees, you know, the nature, the nature of the refugee is they are fleeing. Mm -hmm. They are fleeing a country which is repressing them. And so I just, you know, all I can say is we'll keep an eye on this yeah. because this, this is not the end. No. It's slightly annoying, but it's not the end. Now